happy Friday. Usually everyone's all, oh, thank God it's Friday or whatever. Man, I want every day to be, you know, great like that. You know, on task, handling business, you know, in eating arrangement, <clears throat> totally laid out, you know, good to go. It's my rest day. I need it. Um, yesterday was pretty tough. Um, especially the squats. Haven't been going that heavy in a long time. So, you know, trying to get back used to that. Trying to get the form right. Trying to perfect the form. So, that's going to be a process. Which is, you know, it's fine. What I'm worried about right now, though, is dialing in the carbohydrates and getting my you know enjoyable meal plan set which has been a process you know and that's you know that's what i'm gonna talk about real fast really fast is you know eating out and all this stuff isn't gonna get you to your goal especially if you're <laughs> if you're around the carbs i'm at 172 per day um I mean, it's, it's going to be hard to stay within those carbohydrates. Just like yesterday, I was at the uh, um, the local grocery store, and I'm seeing all these treats and things that I would love to have. And, you know, I pass because they don't have any of the nutrition facts on them. I get home, and I'm telling my partner, hey, you know, they had all these, you know, treats there. You know, he's like, well, why didn't you get one? Um because the macros aren't on them. You know, it, it, it's that simple. If you're not controlling those numbers, you will most likely go over it and end over because you don't have enough allotted in order to just splurge. You know, endomorphs can't splurge, especially if you're trying to cut. If you're trying to be really lean as an endomorph and you have a lot of fat on your body right now, you know, if you're going to have some kind of cheat thing, it needs to be like, it needs to be the last thing you eat that day and you need to leave room for it throughout the day. I would never sacrifice, you know, like for a pastry. Let's just say you're gonna have a pastry, right? If your plan is to have a pastry, you better have that pastry at the very end of the day. Don't have that pastry in the morning because you're going to lose all those calories. And then what if you get hungry and you need satiating carbs in the morning? You need satiating carbs later on in the day and you have no room for them. You know, maybe you're, you know, like me. I don't eat meat. It's difficult for me to get my protein in. I have to take in carbohydrates to get the majority of my protein. So... I'm, you know, I'm stuck a lot of the time. I have to eat a very specific way. And I usually never, ever go over the, uh, or I never get enough protein in a day. It's impossible because I can't consume enough carbohydrates to hit my protein numbers. I can't eat, you know, 170 grams of protein a day, 180 grams of protein a day. It's not happening. So, Find that enjoyable routine, those enjoyable meals, write them down, write down all the macros, macros and everything, keep it, and then piece together your meal plan, you know, over a course of time. It takes time, folks, but you know, the most important thing you can do is basically, essentially this. <clears throat> you have to make your own, like, lifestyle cookbook. That's what you have to do. You have to develop your own lifestyle cookbook. Maybe you'll find some of the stuff, you know, in other places. Maybe you'll have to, you know, come up with your own concoctions, but you're gonna have to design your own eating lifestyle cookbook as an endomorph that helps you keep those carbs down. Cause insulin goes up, your body stops burning, stops oxidizing fat for energy, and it starts storing fat immediately. Happy Friday.